This is a lesson on classifying triangles. Triangles consist are polygons that consist of three sides and three corners, or vertices. Um, and each vertex is um, has an angle, and we already know about the sum of the measures of those angles equaling 180 degrees. But the way that we name a triangle is we just name all three vertices. So we use a little triangle sign like that, and I would call this triangle, uh, you know, whatever, A, B, C. It doesn't matter the order. I could start with B and go triangle B, A, C, or B, C, A, or I could start with C. It doesn't matter which order you put those in. Okay, there are two ways to classify triangles. One is by sides, and the other is by angles. If we classify by sides, we're talking about how many congruent sides the triangle has. So if I have no sides congruent, so all three side lengths are different, I call that a scalene triangle. Okay, a scalene triangle has no sides congruent. If I have two or more sides congruent, but generally two sides congruent, it's an isosceles triangle. I-S-O-S-C-E-L-E-S. If I have all three of the sides congruent, it's called an equilateral triangle. Equal meaning equal, and lateral meaning sides. So, oops, so equilateral means equal sides. Okay, so every triangle is either going to have no congruent sides, two congruent sides, or all three sides congruent. The second way we could classify triangles is by angles. If I have uh, three acute angles, so they're all less than 90 degrees, I have what I just call an acute triangle. If one of the ang uh, measures of one of the angles is greater than 90, I have one obtuse angle, and that's all I can have in the figure. I can't have more than one obtuse angle. I call the triangle an obtuse triangle. If I have a right angle in the figure, and again, I can't have more than one right angle in a triangle. I just call it a right triangle. And if I have all the angles the same measure, which, if you think about it, will have to be 60 degrees each, that happens to be also equilateral, but we refer to it as an equal angular triangle. Oops. Equal angles. And we'll later confirm that equilateral triangles are equilangular, and equilangular triangles are all equilateral. Okay, so an angle can be two or more of these things. For example, let's say that we're asked to draw a right scalene triangle. That would be a right triangle where all three of the side lengths are different. So I could make one of the legs kind of long and one of them kind of short. Here's my right angle. And then the hypotenuse would have to be the longest leg of all. So that would be an example of a right triangle that is scalene, three different side lengths. Let's say I'm asked to draw a right isosceles triangle. Well. That would be a right triangle where two of the side lengths are the same. So I would make both of the legs the same leg, put the right angle between them. So those two would both be the same leg. And then the hypotenuse, again, always the longest side opposite the right angle. So that would be an example of a right isosceles triangle. If I was asked to draw a picture of an acute isosceles triangle, I would just construct a nice symmetrical triangle, two sides congruent, um, and all three of the angles, interior angles, acute, all of them uh, less than 90 degrees. And that would be an acute isosceles triangle. Okay, an acute scalene triangle, that would be a triangle with three acute angles and they're all different side lengths. So here's one, two, three. Um, all different side lengths, um, all three acute angles, less than 90 degrees. Okay, and lastly, let's visualize an obtuse scalene triangle. That would be a triangle that has one obtuse angle. So what I'll do is I'll make one really long leg, 
or yeah, and one really short one, and then opposite the obtuse angle, that would have to be the longest leg. Here's my obtuse angle. Okay, and it would clearly, you could see that it's scaling because all three side lengths are different, and it has one obtuse angle in it, hence an obtuse scalene triangle. So it's simple as that, and you get the idea of classifying triangles by sides and by angles.